for the first to land on Gallipoli in the early hours of the 25th of April 1915. The tension aboard the small boats which brought them to shore was palpable. For many, it would be their first experience of war. William Turnley eloquently described this feeling. The suspense was nerve wracking. All we can do is follow the pinnace towing us about. The thought comes to me that perhaps we are the unfortunate ones to be sacrificed in drawing the enemy's fire. Such a cheerful thought. Oh, why the dickens don't they fire at us? There are a couple of lights flashing about. They must have seen us. Crack, swish, ping. At last, we breathe a sigh of relief. The suspense is over. Some get ashore safely. Some are hit slightly. Others are drowned in only a couple of feet of water because in the excitement, no one notices their plight. One fellow remains in the boat after all the others have disembarked. He looks at us dazedly, leaning forward on his rifle. A sailor touches him on the arm and the soldier falls forward into the bottom of the boat, dead. <clears throat> Once ashore, men rushed on hands and knees up the steep cliffs to the ridges above us. They reached the heights quickly and stood triumphantly 300 feet above the beach. They would soon face a strong counter attack by Turkish forces. The first battle for the heights, which has come to be known as the Battle of the Landing, would last until early May. Those who survived these early days would see many other battles and many more of their mates fall. Those who lived, lived through the heat and the horror of the summer and the August offensive. They lived through the flies and illness which plagued the peninsula. And they were exposed to the storms and snow as the freezing Turkish winter descended whilst preparations were made for the December evacuation. The voices of those who served here are now silent. We are the caretakers of their memories. Today, we will walk their battlefield and carry their stories in our hearts. On behalf of the Defence Forces of Australia, New Zealand and the United Kingdom, Vice Admiral Ray Griggs, AO, CSC, RAN, Air Vice Marshal Peter Stockwell, AFC, and General Sir Peter Wall, KCB, CBE, ADC.